không? Bố giàu The original idea was to do the three passes track, but as we were going along, we noted that this challenge would be too ambitious. Uh, also because of the weather, uh, the weather was getting really cold when we, when we got up there and we decided not to do the three passes track anymore and to put Everest Base Camp as a goal. Also because for Anna, Everest was her personal challenge. She saw the movie Abominable and that's how she wanted to go to the to place of the Yetis, which is Everest. El trekking va començar a Lucla. Dos dies vam arribar a Namche. Cada poblet que passàvem al Bru tenia alguna baralla que d'altra, que va ser complicat gestionar-ho. I a partir, crec que el cinquè, sisè dia, es va tapar el temps, va nevar i va, va ser com arribar a l'alta muntanya i bueno, que el paisatge fos molt, molt més hivernal. Today, as you can see, it's still a bit cloudy. It's actually pretty cold here, about minus 17. Tomorrow is going to be a really nice day, with a sunny, with blue skies. It will be cold as well, up to minus 20. But we expect to have a real nice walk up to the base camp. We were really, really filled with hope for the next day because we thought the next day it was going to be a really bright day, but it wasn't. So we woke up with very, very cold weather, wind. Allà la ona ja no s'ho estava passant bé. Va decidir ella dir mitja volta. Quan ella va decidir que no s'ho passava bé, vam fer mitja volta i vam anar cap avall. We were lucky to find a little present from the Yetis, <laughs> just at the place we we decided to turn around and she felt she achieved the goal to get to the Everest. First time in 20 years is me taking job. Children very small, like it's first time in the Everest Base Camp. In the north is sick, no problem. So very, 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 very happy. Enjoy taking this camp, yeah. Thank you. 
I think we were very fortunate to be here in winter because Everest Trail is very famous. There are many people on the trails in season, but now they are pretty much empty. And it's nice for the views, but also it's a good opportunity to get the Sherpa community in a more personal and a more intimate way. Doncs per mi la comunitat Sherpa són una gent extraordinària per la seva manera de, de viure, per com treballen a portejant cada dia pesos inhumans, sobrenaturals, i sempre amb un somriure a la cara. Ha sigut un molt bon entreno el que hem fet aquí. Al matí primer ens llevàvem d'hora jo i la Ragna, sortíem a córrer i fer la intensitat. A mig matí sortíem a caminar, a fer el trekking. Crec que era una sessió de força molt intensa. Estàvem unes 3-4 hores caminant jo amb l'ONU a l'esquena, que devien ser uns 24 quilos. I crec que la compensació de intensitat al matí i força a la tarda haurà fet solim una bona base per afrontar aquesta temporada. Sometimes at the higher altitude, we were just spent running, stretching our legs, just to keep running as well. And then the other times when we were slightly lower, we tried to put in some interval sessions to run fast and to get our hearts rate up. Aquí al cim de Cala Patar, 5.600 metros, a l'Everest, la punteta que és il·luminada, s'està punyant el sol ja. És inhumà això, és el paradís. Bueno, ara a Hong Kong eh, intentarem ja preparar la carrera al 100%. Eh, a comen... Ostres! I què això? No marxa. No. <laughs> Avui és Nadal i estem esmorzant a casa la Menzalani. Que estan en una zona afectada per la terratremo en 2015 i han reconstruït la seva vida i mira com, com van fent.
So first of all, when we arrived, it was a bit of a shock because we came from a tiny little village in Nepal and then we arrived at this big city with the high skyscrapers. But then we started to discover Hong Kong and we saw all those beautiful islands, this beautiful nature. And it was actually very surprising to see how close the city and the nature is and how they really form like a unity together. It's like part of the landscape. El Bruno pogut venir a Hong Kong perquè tenia que fer una quarantena per poder entrar i no estaven prou dies perquè pogués estar aquí. La millor opció era deixar-lo amb els meus pares, tot i que va ser molt trist el moment de la despedida a Can Mandu. La Ragna, quan va arribar a Hong Kong, va ficar un missatge que havia arribat aquí i de seguida la van contestar tres persones. Una d'elles era una comunitat de, de gent que corria, que té una botiga a l'Antau. I després d'un anteno que vam fer, vam anar allà, ens van donar per dutxar-nos i ens van bueno, obrir les portes de casa seva. We soon discovered Hong Kong has a big trail community and we got to know and Martijn, we met John, Cara, Esther, amongst other people. And we were asked to do a, a talk, so we had a talk in Lantau and later also in Hong Kong, which was nice and it made us get to know more people still in, from this community. Hem arribat tres setmanes abans, ens hem adaptat al clima, hem pujat i baixat moltes escales, sobretot el tema de pujar escales i baixar és complicat. In the first couple of days we trained on the actual race course because we wanted to see and get a feel what it's like. On New Year's Day we did the final 16 kilometers with Honor together. We thought it would be nice because during the race we could remember this, uh, this, this day. Hong Kong ens ha sorprès molt perquè està ple de muntanya i, i d'illes. I hem pogut dormir i explorar diferents illes. The experience of Sarap Island was very nice. It was something I was really longing for. Running on it, I thought it was really characteristic for Hong Kong. I had a difficult moment as well, tired and stressed out. Si no us sale, bueno, que no era perfecte, no passa nada. But overall, I really enjoyed camping out there and it was something very special which I will always remember. La vibra en Hong Kong Sien és una cursa molt atlètica, sobretot els primers 56 quilòmetres molt ràpids, amb molt poc desnivell, amb 1.600 positius, i la segona part molt més tècnica, pujades i baixades més fortes. El total són 105 quilòmetres i 5.300 positius. Ja ho veus. Doncs aquí no tinc ni membrillo ni el que menjo a casa. M'he tingut d'espavilar i comprar el que hi havia. Tinc xutxes que m'agraden, tinc gels, no la marca que sempre utilitzo però tinc gel, barretes com les que sempre em prenc, pastilles de sals, molt important perquè farà calor, i el mòbil perquè és material obligatori, el dorsal, un xiulet que el tinc a la motxilla, i ja està. I was really looking forward to test myself in this race because it is a different race because of the landscape, because of the trails. A lot of it is asphalt, concrete paths, a lot of steps. Something challenging, I think. I like new challenges and I thought it was a good challenge, actually. Yes! La cursa va sortir molt ràpida, tres xinos sobretot t'hi van des del quilòmetre zero. Jo vaig ser una mica més conservador i em vaig ficar amb el grupet del quart, cinquè, sisè corredor. Right from the beginning, I could tell that the race was going to be between Pusha, Veronica and me. We set off together, ran together the first, till the first CP at the dam. From that on, actually, I was always like half a minute up to one minute behind them. I think probably about 38k into the race, there was a downhill and Fouchard was able to separate from Veronica. 
from then on, Fuchsia was going further and further away. I was staying with Veronica, uh, ran in second position for about 10k and then I was passed again by her and this is when the race really split and I uh, definitely accepted I was going to finish in third place. I suspected that the fourth runner was quite far behind so I didn't feel any pressure from behind. <laughs> Controlava, crec que la meva carrera és on volia estar, arribar al quilòmetre 57 amb cames perquè la segona part de la cursa és la que jo podia treure el millor de mi. Però el problema va ser que la panxa em va abandonar la segona part de la cursa. No puc comer, tio. No tinc... Tinc solo el dulce i no l'he entrat, vomito. Em vaig provar un producte nou, una beguda energètica, i em va assentar malament a la panxa. I al quilòmetre 57 vaig començar a vomitar i ho vaig intentar solucionar bevent a poc a poc i prenent pastilles de sals, però no tenia menjar per, per substituir-ho. Intento refer-me. Tinc el quart, cinc i sisè a la vista, menys d'un minut. Noto que tinc molta força a les cames, però em falta energia. Miro tot el menjar que tinc i l'únic que tinc són coses dolces que no em venen gens de gust, necessito salat. I al no poder menjar, l'energia em va abandonant, abandonant i veig que, que serà complicat acabar la cursa. I decideixo afluixar i arribar al següent checkpoint per, per plegar. Al cap de un minut després de la segona noia arriba la Ragna i faig un últim sobreesforç per acompanyar-la un trosset i donar-li el màxim d'ànim possible per, perquè jo ja que he plegat que ella pugui com a mínim fer segona o fins i tot guanyar. It was a disappointment and I felt sad when I saw him after checkpoint 6 sitting with a bad stomach. I really hope that he could finish the race in a top 10 position but he is very competitive. He wants to win and this is his attitude. So it's either all of nothing for him, I think. Mi casa ja. Em portava 20 quilòmetres vomitant. No m'entrava res. Una merda, tu. Qui ha guanyat? Físicament estic fort i l'únic que em falta aprendre és menjar. Al final, una cursa tan llarga o menges bé o se t'acaba l'energia. Per molt fort que estiguis, si vomites, si no, no t'omples la gasolina que necessitaràs per arribar, no pots fer res. Haig d'aprendre molt de com menjar a les curses. Running for me is something which makes me free and I want it to be like this. And yesterday I just felt that my mind wanted to disconnect no stress, just enjoy as much as possible. I'm still not sure if I really agree with myself, slightly disappointed of course, but I think under the circumstances, having to deal with this whole travel life, I have to be really pleased with this result. If I would had the same result in, in about half a year's time, I wouldn't probably be happy, but Rolling Mountains has just begun. I have to adapt, I have to learn, and I'm going to try and be stronger for the next race. Congratulations, your finish time is 12 hours 3 minutes. Well done. Mm, C'est vraiment difficile de compléter au maximum hein, pour moi. Porque todo, todo el tema de nutrición, todo el tema de no tener físico, todo el tema de no tener um, buenos entrenamientos, uh, el estrés, la organización de todo, sobre todo el estrés me afecta. It was just a coincidence uh, initially uh, to get to know Tiffany. We booked her Airbnb, stayed at her house, but right from the beginning, she made us feel really at home. At one point she said, I can look after when you're racing. And we suggested this to Anna and immediately Anna said, yes, I want to go and stay with Tiffany. And Anna had a really good time met all the family, learned English, so I'm very glad that she could stay here whilst we were racing. 
yeah, a little bit shy at the beginning, but at the end she's so happy. Yeah, she also eats a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ciao ciao! Sorry, they beat me! Your baby's gonna beat me!